Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we have kind of a crazy uh, video here, but we are doing an advent calendar unboxing, and this is actually a luxury advent calendar. This is the YSL Beauty advent calendar, and this is probably the most expensive one I've ever unboxed on my channel. This is a $400 advent calendar. Oh my goodness. I am so curious to see what's inside here. I do not know anything of what's inside, any sneak peeks. I know with advent calendars, typically they're not really a great deal. I feel like you usually get what you pay for, but you're not getting like a huge savings. I find that to be true, at least for the ones that I have tried. Um, I haven't really done much advent calendar unboxings this year. I did the Charlotte Tilbury one. I'll link that down below if you guys want to check it out. That one's kind of luxury too, but it's actually much cheaper than this one is. And then also, I was going to do the Bath & Body Works advent calendar, but they haven't launched theirs yet. And then Victoria's Secret did the exact same advent calendar as last year. I'm just like, what is going on? <laughs> What's going on? Where's the fun advent calendars? I don't know, but we have this one today to unbox. So reading the description as a little sneak peek here, it says that there is going to be 24 surprise gifts across fragrance, beauty, skincare, and accessories, and it's gonna be a value of 552. So it's supposed to be a bigger value than what you're paying. I will say the packaging is very beautiful, but let's go ahead and get into this. So you open it up by the little snowflake and then here is the inside so it is like a countdown to Christmas a total of I guess 24 days don't they usually do 25 I don't know I guess the last one you open on Christmas Eve so let's go ahead and get into this I feel like these are so hard to unbox on camera let me see if I could scoot back a bit let's do number one which is this little box here I like that the box is just easily slide out there's gonna be a lot of cuts in this video <laughs> this item let's see let's see we got a little sample size is this gonna be kind of like that Dior advent calendar that's all samples I know I sell as a luxury brand but this is the cute little baby mini lipstick this is part of their Rouge Per Couture line it just says uh, NM 62 times 203 I don't know what that means but it's a cute little lipstick and it's a nice rosy color i love ysl lipsticks all their formulas are so soft and creamy this is the color here so yeah it's actually quite a nice almost rosy brown nude and it was super pigmented and ultra smooth so that is the number one item i always start at number one let me know if you guys are the same okay number two is actually a very large box here um it looks like there's maybe some type of pencil inside another kind of deluxe sample size it is an eyeliner this is the waterproof eye pencil number one it's the shade it's just a black eyeliner it's actually very creamy again very smooth so i mean hopefully this is a really good one it's supposed to be waterproof which is definitely what i need and i've never tried their eyeliner before i honestly i've tried mostly from ysl obviously i've tried their scents i love their fragrances i tried a lot of their lip products and their mascara and a couple complexion things but i really haven't tried a whole lot from the brand because they are so pricey i think we're on at number three i would just like to see one full size in here let's see oh we got a little mini ysl black opium perfume let's open this up here cute look at it it's such a cute size now i wish this was a spray but it is the dab on one but i love black opium it's one of my favorite scents i know not everyone loves it but for me it's just a classic i've loved it since it launched it's always been a favorite and i love all like the different versions that they come out with they always have a new one each year so in here is 0.25 ounces so that's actually a pretty decent size usually roller balls are 0.3 ounces and those usually retail for like 30 bucks all right number four we have here okay another mini product <laughs> this is oh another lipstick let's see this is the i don't know what this is honestly i don't know what like line this is but look at this red it's such a vibrant red oh my goodness let's swatch that one oh it's like glossy that's pretty 
this is a weird formula. It's not quite sheer, but it's not quite fully opaque. But I like how just like shiny and glossy that is. It's a really pretty color. It actually almost looks more coral on my hand. It's so bright. That's like a fun summer one. All right, number five. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is a big one. Is this a full size? No, it's, I think this is still mini. This is the Slim Velvet. It says highly pigmented velvet matte lipstick. No way, this is a full size, you guys. This is a full size lipstick, okay. Let's see, this is the shade number 21. I hate that they don't put like cute little names on them. I think on the website they have names, but it's always numbers here. So it's called the Slim Velvet Radical Lipstick. Oh, we got like a nice Christmassy red, it looks like. Let's go ahead and swatch this one. I have not tried this formula. Oh my goodness. That was so like opaque and pigmented. It's kind of a matte formula, I would say, but it's a creamy matte. It doesn't feel dry. It didn't tug at all. I, like I said, YSL has amazing quality lip products. So exciting to get a full size and it is a beautiful red. I've been looking for like the perfect Christmassy red to wear this season. So I think this will be awesome because it's also a nice matte formula that should at, le at least stay longer on the lips. Okay, I keep having to lug this thing over my head, but number six looks like a big box. Let's see what's in here. We have another full size. Ooh, you guys, okay. So this is actually a nice travel spray of their YSL Y Cologne. My husband wears this one. Um, he also loves YSL fragrances too. He's loving right now the new Myself. That's been his go-to. It's so good. They make such good colognes. But why? oh my gosh, I love this one too on him. It just smells so good. It's not like overly spicy. It's more like a fresh aquatic men's cologne. So I can't wait to give that to him. He's gonna be really excited to have a little travel size. So actually that's a pretty, that's a pretty decent size for that one. Next up, number seven here. Okay, and this one we have, it says Pure Shots. This looks like a skincare item. Pure Shots Night Reboot Serum. I have not tried this from that. I feel like this is a somewhat newer product as well. Let's see. So this is like a little serum from them. It has moonlight, cactus flower, and glycolic acid in the formula. Number eight here, let's see what we got. In that one we have another little skincare item. This is the Pure Shots Hydro Bounce Essence in lotion. I feel like these kind of lotion products that are the ones that you kind of dab on your hands and then just like pat on the face have been so popular lately, but I do feel like these little skincare products could be a, a bit bigger. I mean, for $400, let's at least have a bigger deluxe size than this. This will be like three uses maybe. All right, we're on at number nine here. This is a full size lipstick. So that's two full size lipsticks now. This is the bold. It says Rouge Pour Couture line, intense color couture shine, 1971 Rouge Provocation. Provocation is the name of it. It better not be another red. Here's the packaging, beautiful as usual. And it is, another red <laughs> so this is actually like a deeper red it looks like let's swatch it next to the other one Ooh, it is a little deeper and this one's a little shinier as well so a couple different reds here but i would have loved to see like a little more variety considering these are both the full size items here i would like to see a little a different color like a rose or like a nude or something like that but i mean it is a beautiful formulation so we do have two different like lipstick formulas but just similar colors going on okay now we're on at number 10 here and we got a mini another skincare it looks like this is a little tiny makeup remover oh my goodness seriously they need to amp these sizes up that is just so tiny like i have to i'll have to dab that on a little cotton round to get my makeup off with that oh number 11 is right on top here let's see full size lip product again <laughs> is the full sizes only lip products let's see we got a rouge Velup shine oil in stick this sounds kind of similar to the gloss sticks. Is that the same thing? Let me see. I feel like it is. Shade 121. I feel like this has to be 
similar to the gloss sticks which are one of my favorite formulas but thankfully it is a different color it is not a red it is a nude this time but oh my gosh these are stunning yeah these do feel like the gloss sticks it's it says oil and stick because they're really hydrating really creamy a little like more on the sheer side but it's gonna give you that kind of shiny lip oil like feel that has been so popular right now just like a very shiny lipstick so this is actually really exciting maybe my favorite thing so far in this advent calendar but yeah now we've had three three of the full sizes have all been lipsticks next up number 12 here i hope this is mascara yes it is it is their mascara faux sills i usually use their shock mascara which is my favorite but i feel like i don't know if i have used this one the mascara volume faux sills here's what the wand looks like i love ysl mascaras they're one of the higher end ones i will spend my money on i always feel like they're so good so yeah we got a little deluxe size mascara which is probably like half the size of the full size okay number 13 what do we have here this is another perfume Ooh, i have not tried this one this is tuxedo i don't know if this is more of a cologne it is a eau de perfume though let's see but tuxedo just sounds kind of manly i don't really like unisex scents that much for me but i'm curious to see what this will smell like oh this is like this is giving chanel number <laughs> chanel number five vibes let me just put a little bit on my hand it's giving very rich, old, uh, powdery. It's not really for me. I think it's definitely unisex, too. That is what it looks like. Another cute little sample perfume, but the dabber again. I wish we had to have some more sprays. I feel like everyone wants to spray. No one likes the dabbers because they're so annoying to put on. <laughs> Why do we do this? It should always be sprays. Okay, number 14. A lipstick <laughs> this is let's see the rouge per couture again it says rm 62 times 203 i don't know what that means it is a dark red so another red lipstick here i'm just collecting all the swatches so here it is right here this one actually i feel like is the richest in color it's a little deeper and just has the most pigmentation so that has been such a stunning red and this one is a little shiny as well might have to go ahead and wipe these swatches off because i'm sure we're gonna have even more lipstick still in this box oh look at this eyeliner it is staying that is awesome that's the waterproof one next we have 15 all the way on the bottom here this i'm gonna guess is also a mascara because they have so many good ones it is and it is my favorite one the lash clash this one just ugh, i love it it gives me the most volume and it's a it's a little it clumps them a little bit but not overly where they look spidery or anything like that but it gives the clumpy volume kind of look and it also will last all day no smudging it's such a good one so very exciting although i wish we could have gotten this as a full size instead of one of the lipsticks just to like switch it up a bit so that was number 15 number 16 is next now in this one i don't know what this is honestly is this another lipstick oh it's another perfume product it's a lot of men's ones i feel like so this is the le home one i have not tried this one yet or my husband hasn't tried it but it is again a really nice spray bottle it's like shorter but it's wider so i'm just gonna spray a little bit oh that's nice yeah my husband's gonna like that one that one's a little more spicy um so now my husband's just getting this nice little <laughs> travel collection of these colognes because i don't know where's the perfect maybe we'll have some more in here i mean i guess we did have two of the women's ones all right i think we're on number 17 here so curious as to what this is this is the it says or rouge la creme essential oh it must be like a little moisturizer maybe let's see here i always i really didn't know that why i still even had skincare i feel like no one really talks about their skincare products but yeah it does look like a little moisturizer and that is the inside that one's a decent size i would say for a moisturizer but yeah i really didn't know why i still had so many 
skincare things. All right, number 18 has a bigger box, so let's see what's in here. A full-size lipstick. <laughs> Are we surprised? Okay, so this is, again, the oil in stick again. So that really shiny formula. This is nude lingerie, so yay, another nude color. This one looks really pretty. It has almost like a red tint, but like some gold shimmer in it. It looks very pretty. It is shade 150, which is, oh yeah, nude lingerie. I already said that. Ooh, this is pretty. You can't really see the shimmer that's showing in like the lipstick, but this is such a pretty like peachy shade and it's a little more sheer again, but that is beautiful. Very on trend for the popular lipsticks right now. So yay, at least it is not a red, but yeah, it does seem to be like all the full sizes are gonna be lipsticks. Next up, number 19. This is another mini. Another skincare product. This is the Pure Shots Soft Polish. So another kind of liquidy toner type of a product. Just a little tiny guy again. Number 20 here. This is, ooh, we got Mon Paris. <laughs> That's exciting. This is a 0.25 fluid ounce again. Such a cute little bottle though. It matches the full size exactly. But I think it's a dabber, yeah. It's that dab on one again, but I love this scent. Again, one of my favorites that I've loved since it came out. I've worn it. This is more of a patchouli. It's sweet, though. It's like patchouli sweet florals. I love this one. It actually reminds me a lot of Bath & Body Works Dream Bright a little bit. So number 19 was another perfume. So they do include quite a bit of fragrance in here. All right, we have number 21. And this is skincare again. So this is the Pure Shots line again. This is the Eye Reboot Concentrate. So it has caffeine in it. So a little eye cream. Now, I don't mind eye creams being super small just because... You really don't need a lot. There's not a lot of area to cover. So this will be the perfect size to try out. Number 22. This is heavy. Let's see. This must be the accessory. Okay, so this is a little YSL mirror. It looks like this. And then it has the little mirror on the back. Sorry, my fingerprints are all over this. But I don't know why. <laughs> They always think like the mirror is the accessory to include. I just don't think that's that exciting. But I feel like a lot of the high-end brands do that. I mean, it is beautiful, but it's like so little. Like there's no little handle or like a pouch to put it in. I feel like it needs a little pouch for your purse. So it stays nice and neat. But yeah, that is the <laughs> little accessory. It's kind of giving the Dior Advent Calendar 2.0. Okay, number 23. This seems a little heavy too. Another fragrance. We got the classic YSL Libra. So it looks like we got pretty much all of YSL's classic scents here. Love this one. And it's that cute baby size dabber bottle again. This is just, this is such a good one. It is one of the most long-lasting perfumes you will ever find. It does have some lavender in it. It's like a warm floral. Such a pretty one. My favorite from them is the La Parfum version, but I do love the original as well. Okay, I think that leaves one more to open. So we are on number 24. It is a bigger box, so this better be a good item. So let's see. It doesn't seem very heavy. Oh, but we do have a full size. <laughs> it is another, can you guess? Lipstick. <laughs> it's the Slim Leather Matte Lipstick. Oh, okay. 1966 it says. Why is it called leather? Let's see. I did like this formula on the other one. This one has like the matte packaging, which is nice. And it's a red. <laughs> this one's another matte deep red. It actually almost has like an orangey hint to it. Very pretty red. So we are all like stocked up on red lipsticks here from YSL, which I mean, they are my favorite formula, but I don't know that we needed three different full size reds. That was just a little bit excessive to me. I feel like they should have included the clear um, lip gloss stick that's like my favorite thing right now and clear everyone can use a clear so i guess that is everything in this ysl advent calendar 
honestly I am kind of surprised to see a lot of the full size lipsticks I didn't know how many full sizes would be in here because I feel like these luxury advent calendars they always give you just sample sizes I will say that it is kind of annoying that the only full size products are lipsticks and there was so many reds I feel like what would make this like the ultimate advent calendar is having the sample sizes and including like one full size fragrance. I think that would have been so cool because like this is $400. <laughs> like that is crazy. I don't know if it like is a part of deals and sales. I feel like probably not. But like that saying that I do feel like this is one of the better luxury advent calendars I've seen by all the full sizes. But I feel like this is only one you're probably going to want to buy if you're really wanting to try more lipsticks from YSL and you just want to try more from the brand. You do get a wide range of products. Don't really love the skincare included. That's just kind of boring to me. And the sizes on those were so tiny. I just think for $400 you should get a little bigger of a size that's going to last you at least more than a few uses. I'm curious to know what your thoughts are. Do you think this is something kind of fun that you'd like to have or do you think it's just a waste of money? Let me know down below. I always feel like these are really fun gifts to give and I feel like they're always just all about the packaging and the aesthetics. I feel like it's never, like I mentioned, it's never really a deal that you're getting with these. I've never really found an advent calendar yet that includes like incredible amazing full-size all items like I feel like if it was like a value these would sell like so fast but people still buy them because I mean it is fun to kind of open something each day before Christmas since technically you're supposed to do them <laughs> during December 1 up to Christmas Eve but yeah that's kind of it for this advent calendar unboxing my first luxury one let me know your thoughts on this one hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next video bye guys